Right guys, race 2 for the day. Anyone probably wondering where is the new team in that Volkswagen GTI colors? He didn't make it. So um, he's missing all three races. We got three lights, four lights, five lights, and off we go. What a start there. Looks like we could uh, come and do um, orange in the in the front there with Toxic Fly there. It, um, in second at the moment looks like Toxic Fly will force his way through. He like it. Oh, he gets a little nut there from orange, but well done the Toxic. In the front there, getting at Polo in the front. Now the guys are chasing and uh, chasing hard. And coming up, looks like we got Green Spider there in third. Uh, sorry, not Green Spider, but Gareth Triple Seven there in third position at the moment. And this is not where the guys really want to be. The top guys, Fanatina, looks like he's coming through, making his way through. Someone needs a wall there. I can't make it out, but someone's into the wall there at the back. That was a very ugly one, straight into the wall. Couple of cars running wide there. Yeah. Looks like Gareth um, Triple Seven there up there. Frick is in between you too. I can't make it where everyone is. I'm lying here with Gareth with 8th position at the moment. We're about to start lap number 2. And there's Campus. Looks like in 7th position. Getting a little nuts there. And Yolo looks like a 9. The guy won the first race. He's in 10th position trying to come through. Now he's at 9th position now. And we got a couple of cars going all over here. Someone went with white. That's um, um, creepy who went white there. But oh, someone got touched there. That looks like triple seven. Get up triple seven. Got nailed a bit, uh, a bit wide there. Couple of cars coming widely. Yeah, this is dangerous. See, this is really getting, getting that step and spin. Yeah, a little bit of out of party. And someone straight into the wall. Someone went to the wall. I can't make it out. Do it is another car went to the wall. Uh, trying to see it comes back. It's get a uh, get a triple seven or later. Hell of a mistake there. Did he hit the wall? I can't tell you. But Fricky is fighting. Um, Frick is in the front, he's past, uh, Octay, uh, um, past, he, he's past Creep, um, um, Orange and, and it looks like BTB race um, and Toxic Fly still in third position couple of bangs and fighting at the back has become hard to the brakes cars and camp is in the third position now and he has passed Toxic, oh Toxic gets a, a slightly nuts there from the leader who won the first race this tox Toxic is just up, keep, um, keeping cool here and it's why this is tough, oh Valentina had a little bit of a moment there too this is lap 3 guys and they are still fighting, they didn't calm down yet, someone needs to tell them to calm down, I think the, the pit crews and the spotters are going crazy on this race, trying to get these guys to calm down, and we are lying at 6 pushes a moment, and when, that's creepy who got pushed aside sideways and he gets away, he let go the tyre, he, and he gets away there, creepy, Valentino, in 6 and 7 position, there's a little bit of bumping and parting here, a whole lot of bumping about the CSC. If they do come, come cause the CSC, yeah, he's gonna be hands out deck here. Yeah. Oh, on a break, it's a new driver. We got a brand new driver, so we're up to 12 cars. And I don't know who that gentleman is in a black car with number six on, but he's looking hungry and he's trying to get through here. Yeah. Looks, looks like a, if we can get past another bumping there from somebody if he runs wide a bit down to 11th percent. Marco um, having a bad one there. He's lying at 11th position at the moment and in 12. Who's trying very hard to get back in this race is um, Gareth Triple Seven. Oh, someone made a mistake. It looks like the red polo. Oh, yeah, something happened there. Don't know what happened there. He's got a little bit of um, dodgy with somebody. He was running in the in the top ten, I think, and um, a big mistake there from him. Back to the leader. Freaking, he's pulled the gap. This is what Fricky wants. He knows he needs to do this. Where is Campus? I see Campus is lying in third position. So Campus is in the top three. He's got Orange in front of him. And they will like to get past Orange as quick as possible to chase down Fricky. They are fighting the championship at the moment. Yolo is lying in third position in the championship, but Renier is not here today. Um, some technical problem to Renier, who is had to rush um, to the hospital um, and sort out some stuff there. So um, poor Renier was not making any um, to, the, to this race, so he's going to lose out some points. He was fighting the third position man, Yolo. So Yolo's having a good couple, but Yolo's at 6th position and not really where he wants to be. He knows he can pull points up, but he's having a bad time. Creepy, back and forth, Yolo in 5th. And we got a couple of cars out there. Then we got where is BTP Toxic Fly. I'm not seeing him yet. Um, it looks like he's retired because I only see 11 cars on the track. Hard fight yeah, from the from the cars, Yolo in 5th. We got way of 6 laps down. So we are having a hell of a fight here. Campus in 4th position. It's his first time out in the polo and he's having a toilet of a ride. Yolo, he knows he's got, he needs to get points here to make it very, very good um, fight for the last race. And it's a hell of a fight there for the guys. If we got them coming up, 
looks like uh, that new driver has dropped down to sixth position and fighting hard. The guy who has uh, the gentleman in eighth, and then in front of and behind him is the KBR Vanatina. And here comes that guy who won the first race, but he makes a mistake again. He runs wide, and now he recovers. Oh, the camera guy just moved away there. Fricky into the first and he started lap number seven. Guys, I don't know where to look anymore. The camera guy doesn't know, doesn't know where to look anymore. It's chaos all over the track and some good uh, clean racing to some of the guys and bumping and pushing from the rest of the guys. And uh, Campus into second and he will be very happy, but uh, Frick is got a hell of a lead away from me. Orange, his first time out running in the top three at race two, will be very happy. He had a bad finish in race one. So it's doing very well. Yolo is up there trying to catch up to him. And behind Yolo is, looks like it's Campus and Michael. Michael's also coming up at the bank. So Michael's doing very well. Vanatina is also coming up there. He's in seventh position. And there's a hell of a fight to the couple of guys. And still the race is not calming down at all. No one is worried about tires or mechanical problems or anything like that. What can go wrong? So, yeah, what can go wrong? Let's have a look. Got on the brakes into the first turn and it's a lefty to a righty. And um, looking very well to the drivers here. As we got 10 of them, we got 11 cars and there's Gareth, he's fighting hard. And then we got um, to a creepy in the lead here. Not creepy, but sorry, Fricky. In the lead with his lovely snap on Polo, who's been wondering when that he got to the lead. He's been having so much fun in that car. I think he forgot about that he's doing a race. Because he's just going and going and going and he sees the left car. Will he get it? That's campus. Then we got um, um, Orange, uh, 40, uh, 74, and behind him is Yolo, who's in fourth position. Behind Yolo, looks like it's going to be, uh, it looks like Creepy on the scoreboard. It is Creepy. Creepy and MK, KBR Valentino. As Creepy gets out to the brakes, he's in sixth. I can fifth. KBR Valentino in sixth. So that means Marco has lost out the position again. Look like he lost a couple because I don't see him at a, at a, in the top um, seven. So difficult one day for Michael. He must have made a mistake somewhere. We still got 11 cars on the track. Yeah, we got a fight down from eight to nine. And it's a hell of a race. So I think Michael must have had a bad mistake somewhere because he's dropped down to 11th position and not where he wants to be. So back to the race. There's one more lap to go after this one. Final lap. So it's going to be a tough one. Campus is coming. Campus is catching slowly. Frick is under pressure here. He's trying his heart out now. Now he's driving the wheels of that car. Campus is doing it worse. He's just trying to catch to Fricky and trying his heart out to get to Fricky. Guys, this is becoming a real good Polar Cup race. This has become one of the difficult Polar Cup races for the guys. Veratino and Octane. I got Octane, but um, Orin's Rasmus for Veratino in the top three. This is where he's loved, he would love to be. A podium area for Veratino. And um, Orange is under pressure by, by KB or uh, by, by Valentino. So Valentino is going to out overtake him in the last corner. What did happen? Valentino is under the brakes. Lovely. He gives Valentino a lovely space there. And a win for Fricky. Campus second. Vanat Yolo will come into third position. Then we all have Yolo into third for Yolo. Takes the second flag. Valentino. Um, Orange. Then we got Creepy into sixth position. New driver into seven. Gareth looks like will will we'll take um, nine. Marco gets a gets a point in ten, and the gentleman will take loss. Guys, thanks for watching this race, and I'll see you sometime soon. There's one more to come.